Good morning, everyone. Today is day three in Vietnam and also day three in Ho Chi Minh City. Um, I'm up bright and early. It's bright. I thought it was early, but it's another head. The world has been moving already. Um, I'm going on a day trip later. Um, shall not reveal yet unless you read the title in the bit of the video. Well, pretend you didn't know yet. <laughs> Wait for the reveal. So I'm just grabbing a quick bite and um, of course a morning coffee. And then, um, yeah, then we'll head out. See you later. The Kuchi Tunnels are about 1 to 1.5 hours drive away from Ho Chi Minh City and span over 250 kilometers. They were used by the Viet Cong during the Vietnam War and served as living quarters, hospitals, supply routes and more. Today, visitors can explore a small section of the tunnels and learn about the history and ingenuity of the Vietnamese people. Let's go take a look. We finally arrived at the Kuchi Tunnels and our first stop at nearer to the entrance are the display of the remnants of um, war vehicles or weapons. Pretty cool. And I've got a hat now because yeah, it's a really sunny day and sunny area. At the entrance are somber reminders of the war's impact, the relics of war. These artifacts serve as poignant symbols of the conflict that took place here. Rusting tanks, discarded weaponry, and remnants of bombs stand as a testament to the intense battles that once raged. After viewing the relics and having the history of the place explained to us, we made our way deeper into the forest. Along the way, the tour guide would point out the ingenious camouflage method supplied. What looks like ordinary termite mounds in the forest were actually ventilation outlets. Would you have guessed? We've arrived at the entry to the first tunnel to experience what it's like inside. Oh my god, going into the tunnel. I took a minute to recover from that bump on the head. There was nothing much in this chamber except the drainage point, so it was a quick look around before we proceeded to exit. This next part was the highlight for me. Finding the camouflage tunnel entrances and entering one. I'll let my tour guide demonstrate. Whoa. Okay. I want to show for you the demonstration how you go down to the tunnel system. They need highly recommend for camouflage, by the way, cover by the bloody and the tree branches. When you go down, when you go down, you need to find a way for bear your food safety first. Then you hang it on your head. Arm straight, arms up straight. 
and slowly go down. I will show you the demonstration. And after me, that is your turn. And you can see hold this one on your head. Keep your arms straight. And this is heavier than I thought. I came up from another side <laughs> and that one was tighter than I expected almost couldn't come out as mentioned earlier the tunnels had many functions built into them we got to see a medical bunker a war planning room and some living quarters. As part of the experience, we also sampled the staple food eaten during those times. Steamed tapioca dipped in salt and pepper. That is really popular and very famous. <coughs> and you know this one. I have to admit this combination of seasoning with the tapioca is not my favorite. And I am back in the middle of the city after my trip to the Gucci Tunnel. It was very educational and also very sobering to see how war actually affected people and it was also really inspiring to see how resilient the Vietnamese people were. I really recommend everybody who hasn't been there to go and take a look. I woke up so early today for the tour. Um, I, feel, I feel like I need a little boost of energy so I'm going to find some coffee first and then start eating. It's actually a specialty of Hanoi, of which this, um, this cafe is Hanoi themed. So the way to drink it is to savor a little bit of um, the cream first. Mm. This is mostly egg yolk and condensed milk and a little bit of cocoa powder. I love it. It's a little bit of tiramisu. And then um, to get a coffee, you actually have to fold it so that you actually don't um, spoil the layers of the texture too. Because this beverage is um, as layered as they can be. Mm. Cheers! Mm. 
so rich, it's so creamy. It's like it's like a creamy tiramisu uh, in your mouth with um, that a really robust Vietnamese coffee flavor. the bus to my first meal after that okay not really my first meal I had breakfast today didn't I well my first uh, main meal big meal of the day it's gonna be an interesting one let's go local residential area and it's quite cool it's very interesting just observing how the locals live in the shop super local place fresh sugar cane juice pressed like two meters away from me <laughs> this is my first course Boon Ryu oh, um, they got lots of things in there and it smells so good this is fresh out of the pot and look at that tomato based broth glorious color and there are some ingredients that are familiar to people I'm sure you can see some things on screen you're curious about but we'll start with the obvious first there's uh, rice noodles, these are the uh, familiar looking round dinner strands and then congealed pig's blood cake, juice xie dao and then there is also the sausage yeah. Really big piece here, it's almost like a, like a meat cake <laughs> and it's, uh, I think it's like, is that kind of like tofu, dried tofu skin yeah. And I think there's something that most people are curious about. This is snails. So this version of the dish has snails added to it. There's another version that doesn't. Up to you to choose and customize. And the highlight of Boon Ryu is of course the whole bunch of like crab that gives the, the broth its rich flavor. So the crabs here are not the big ones that you know we eat will indulge in seafood restaurants. It's the smaller freshwater ones that they you know break up and piece together as a as a cake like that. This is actually my first time eating bun also, so I'm pretty excited to finally try it. The broth. And yeah, you got that. Umami from the from the the crab. Mm. This tofu is so soft and pillowy and it really absorbs the flavor. <laughs> See, this shrimp paste is um, almost purple. Let's give it a mix. Wow. It added so much to the soup. Full on punch in the face flavor now. That little bit was enough for all this. Let me show you the congealed pig's blood. Yeah, you can't really find it in Singapore, but if you go to China, you go to Malaysia, Taiwan, they do serve it quite often. So good, guys. The piece of the scale. There is no offensive flavor. It just tastes like uh, any like shellfish, crustacean, like um, clam or mussel. 
Secondly, he does a really nice uh, chewy, almost crunchy texture. Let's try the crab cake. Mm. That was delicious. Every bite just releases so much crab flavor. Nice. That was delicious. Now I'm gonna look for my next. Oh, there's something on my nose. Now I'm gonna look for something else to finish up the meal. Oh my god, guys. I was just exploring the area and walking to my next destination. Um, it's peak hour rush right now and I had to cross quite a few busy streets um, since I'm in the, in the touristy or the central area. And I've, <laughs> in this 15 minutes, I felt like my soul has left my body at least like 50 times. <laughs> oh my god, I finally found the place. It's in the side alley. Got mine to go. Or basically it's to go. There's no dining space. Let's see where I can sit down and show you guys what this is. Oof. I forgot his name. I'm gonna put it on the screen here. When I go back and edit this video. Not that I can pronounce it anyway, so I bought two portions because uh, one didn't look very big. Um, it's actually grilled banana and I'm not sure whether it's wrapped in the in glutinous rice and then grilled and covered with um, coconut cream and sesame seeds. It smells really good. It's like a few of my favorite things in one cup. It's like a piece of banana really nicely covered in a coconut cream mm -hmm. oh, so good especially when it's warm it gives out this um, flavor a little like jam it goes so well with the glutinous rice and all these three simple components Glutinous rice, coconut milk, and grilled, uh, grilled banana. It's just all so good. That place wasn't the easiest to find, but I think it's worth the effort. Chef's kiss. You know what, guys? I'm actually back from dinner, but guess which genius brought out a camera and forgot to put the battery in? I couldn't show you guys what I had for dinner, it was really good <laughs> but I still had to do a closer for today hence we are here and um, I walked past the convenience store and I wanted to buy a drink and I saw something that I, I, I wanted to try it's a roasted rice drink it's only 300 milliliters. either I love it or hate it but I also put myself I was actually in the mood for milk tea so this is um, for safety I've never seen it before It smells very nutty. It's just uh, white in color, like regular milk. Should I shake it? Um, okay, give it a bit of a shake. It's actually pretty good. It's, 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 it's sweet, lightly sweet, and it's just toasted flavor. Ooh, it's pretty good. I'm gonna finish this. Okay, that's the end of today. What kind of ending is this? Uh, yes, just give a like and a subscribe and just follow along my little um, journey. Bye!